morning about six. Seven point four. the Eureka Sun River three-person tent so a lot of mesh this is a great summer tent warmer weather a lot of ventilation with the no seam mesh here So you have two aluminum poles, traditional X shape. A lot of ventilation. Sun River 3 with the rain fly on as you can tell it's a dark brown color I'm just kidding bright lime green a little bit of gray so we have two doors two vestibules we have four guy out points with reflect the material and the tabs here we have two uh, vent roof uh, roofs in the vent yeah roof vents there we go two roof vents well this guy out point here to increase uh, ventilation And here is the other door, vestibule. So I have this side here guide out so you can see what it looks like. Definitely helps increase ventilation, especially when you have a breeze. So you can get the cool air coming in and exhaust that hot air out of the top. So you have two stakeout points on the vestibule and it's like that on both sides. So you can, uh, we'll show you in a minute, unzip this, tie it back there, and then this little flap here, tie it back to here, just kind of get a little wider as you're going in. So there is one uh, coloration difference here. We have a yellow stakeout tab, and uh, on the rain fly itself so you just line up the yellow buckle on the rain fly to the yellow tied to the tent body here and it lines everything up so you don't have to guess just makes it a little bit easier all right so here is a door configuration And I wanted to show you this tent also has two-way zippers. So you have two zippers. You can uh, you need to toss them in the tent real quick. Or if you're inside and want to take a quick look out, just unzip here. You don't have to reach way down here. So a little extra versatility. All right, so there's a little extra door configuration here that kind of solid panel where we had it staked just kind of pull the stake up a little bit and turn it take the tab off and then you can tie it back there so makes it a little extra wide I guess and of course you can uh, go ahead and take that other anchor point off your other stake and then tie it back to have 
have it wide open there. Now let's take a look at the side here. This uh, Eureka Sun River 3. So they have a large gear loft. Large gear loft, yeah. And we have a pocket over there. There's a pocket. Pocket in this corner. And a pocket behind me here. So we have plenty of peak height in this tent. Plenty, plenty. So this tent having a uh, all mesh body while still maintaining, you know, a good bathtub style floor. You know, protection from uh, moisture and rain. Makes it a great summer tent. My wife and I camped in this tent for a week in uh, Colorado, in the mountains of Colorado. And uh, it worked perfect though, I mean, it was 40s at night, maybe mid 70s during the day. And uh, we stayed nice and comfortable the entire time. Uh, no, I don't have a video on that. That was before I started my channel, so. Yeah, that stinks. So anyway, it looks like a pretty sized vestibule there. Both sides are the same size. So we're gonna get some measurements here. Let's do that now. Get the length of the tent here. 88 inches long. 72 inches long. So we're at 52 inch peak height. Right, let's measure the vestibule area here. So from the tent body to the furthest point is 33 inches. So it's gonna be 33 inches and it's gonna taper in to the sides of the tent.